Hey guys, uh, KStreamer here. Just want to do an in-depth review of the add-on Auctionator. I mean, uh, everyone uses this particular add-on differently, but I just want to go into detail as to how I use the add-on to make gold. The add-on is a, I would say, intermediate add-on. It's uh, a little bit of a learning curve but uh, I would say that Trace Skill Master is probably going to be a better add-on but Trace Skill Master it does require a very high learning curve in order to uh, get that particular add-on working very well for you. So just a quick look at this particular add-on. Uh, this particular add-on uh, once you install it it will give you these nice three tabs at the bottom when you open up the auction house a buy tab, a sell tab, and a more tab. My UI looks a little bit different because I am using Elf UI. However, if you're using, you know, a UI of whatever, or if you're not using a UI at all, you should still get these three tabs below, okay? And the first thing that I'm actually going to go uh, with regards to is going to be going through the options of how I set up the options and how I utilize it, okay? And, you know, in order to get into the options, a super easy way to get into it is just go to the auction house, open up the auction house, at the top right there will be a option button, and this will automatically pull up your options for Auctionator. The first thing that, you know, you look at here as a basic option is this enable alt key shortcut. This is very useful. What it does is that you're able to utilize the alt key in tandem with the uh, right mouse key so if you if you hold down the alt button on your keyboard and right click any item in your auction house like I'll just do this particular um, grips they'll automatically put into the sell tab and then it will price it accordingly to how you set it and then you could do it for you know like I'll just say I'll do it for like this item here and it'll all of a sudden put it right in there like that so that's this thing is kind of cool uh, it makes it a little bit easier instead of having to like click on the item, drag it and drop it over there type of deal. Uh, second thing about this is that there's a show starting price on the sell tab. I usually have this checked off. I don't know what's really used for, nor do I have any use for it at this point. I don't turn on enabling debug mode either. I'm not sure what that does. And again, uh, this is what I use it for. Again, other people might enable those, but again, this is just what I do. And then when it comes to default auction duration, I usually make it 12 hours. Reason being is that because I'm a on a very populated server. And the auction house here is, is fairly active. And when I say fairly active is that usually people undercut me pretty quickly. And then, you know, the higher that you make the duration, of course, the, the bigger the deposit that you're going to have to put into, that you're going to have to put you're gonna have to spend when you put an item up for auction and if the item doesn't sell you pretty much lose your deposit or if you cancel your item early then you lose your deposit so as you can see like this arm guard here for 12 hours I'm already depositing three gold 24 hours is six gold and 48 hours is 12 gold so I mean if you're constantly canceling your auctions or your auctions are not selling I mean if you sell 10 of these items I mean you're already 120 go out the door just for try putting 10 items up in the auction house so again I usually only do it for 12 hours because I do I do you know uh, cancel my auction out early because it gets undercutted and but again you know use your discretion and based on how the auction house is on your specific server I play on Sargeras, so it's pretty, uh, auction house here is pretty active. And then uh, tool tips, you can, this is pretty much based on your preference. You can go ahead and choose what you like. Um, this was pretty much default for me when I downloaded the add-on. I never really touched it. Uh, undercutting, this is pretty, uh, this is one of the more important tabs that you want to look at. With undercutting, I mean, you can choose how much to undercut. And what this will do is it will automatically undercut as soon as you put the item in the auction house. Now, as you can see here, when I put this arm guard in there, the cheapest in the auction house is selling for 18,999 gold. 
and as you can see the buyout price it already it already uh, deducted 50 gold you undercut it by 50 gold already because well because the rule that I put is that if any item is over 500 gold to undercut by 50 gold so you can see it already done it for me and I wish you go ahead and create click create and it'll go ahead and sell it at a lower price so that's pretty much the undercutting uh, tab or the undercutting options and then selling I'm not really familiar with this I don't mess with this one uh, database I don't really mess with this either clears I don't mess with and shopping list is I definitely utilize this quite a bit depending on your class or depend not on your class depending on your professions you will definitely want to probably make a shopping list per profession I'm not saying that you should but it, it, it definitely made things easier for me like as you can see my shopping list is blacksmithing enchanting foods jewel crafting leather worker and tailoring these are all of my professions on my tunes so this works on all tunes this shopping list is across the entire account so it's kind of nice and of course my z materials which is like my reagent i need in order to make you know my items whether it be leather storm scales chaos crystals you know fishes herbs what, what have you they're all part of this list and in order to create a new list like i'm, just, I'm not going to create it i mean you can go ahead and create a new one you can name whatever we'll just name this like uh test just so that we have an idea as you can see so now i created a new list here called test and you go ahead and click edit and then now you can start putting out much anything in here that you want to search and the name has to be exactly what it is okay you can't put like you know dream leaf and not do it exactly how it's spelled like dream leaf like it's spelled like that in the game like you can't put a space like that and because if you do then the game then the add is not going to know how to search for it so you have to put it you, know, you have to type these down exactly how it appears in the game itself so i'll just and i'm going to go and delete this so i'm just going to show you examples of what i have like for example uh for foods and i'm actually going to add one in here because uh, i have been meaning to update this particular list here so you go edit and these are all the things that i have in here already so i mean these are all the things that i make on a normal daily ba day basis but i'm going to go ahead and add the uh, lavish ceremony feast as you can see i put my mouse over here so i can see exactly how the name is so that way i can type it exactly oops there you go lavish ceremony feast you click save and then and what does the, this does this particular this shopping list is uh, you work this you find these shopping lists in your buy tab so you know and again uh, so this is your shopping list now there are shopping lists out that people have that you know they really go in depth into it like you know they would do it like uh, old world warlords or general or stuff and again you know there are out there they are out there and you can import it and export it with these buttons here I mean uh, you can go out there and search for it or you can make your own all the ones that I have here I did not import I actually made myself so again uh, I'm just gonna show you just a quick example uh, during in the buy tab here I mean this is pretty much for options so you know I will go I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this but I mean then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the buy tab now uh, the buy tab I mean you can go ahead and just randomly type stuff up here what you want to search for you definitely can do that or you know you can do what I do, did and create a shopping list and you can go ahead and manage your shopping list right from the right from here instead of having to go into like you know going into your uh, interface here and then going into add-ons and an auctionator shopping shopping list you can actually go ahead and access it right directly from the uh, auction house UI itself by clicking manage list and you can go ahead and, and click on new and it'll automatically create a new shopping list for you too you can definitely do that too but like you know the reason why i have these shopping lists is because it works like this you know you can click on the drop down box here and it has all your shopping lists here uh, let's say for example i'm looking for chaos crystal and again i have my z material and i have it all listed here on like you know the, the stuff that i that i buy 
in order to do my crafting or enchanting or what have you to make those items. So I'll say Chaos Crystal and it's right here. So I just click it and it'll do a quick search. It's searching all 13 pages of Chaos Crystals in the auction house and it'll pull up the cheapest at the top. That's pretty much what it does. And right now it's selling for 199 gold and I'm going to go ahead and buy this because this is pretty good. So I'm going to buy all 16. This is really cool because it, just, it says there's 16 stacks of one. So once, so it's, they're selling 16 stacks and of one each for $1.99 each. I need you go buy. And then this is really cool because you can keep, like, keep on clicking buy and it'll keep on buying it. So I mean you're buying, so I'm buying a total of 16. So you just keep on clicking this. And then like for 200 I'm going to buy that too because that's pretty cheap. So you just keep on punching the buy and you just pretty much buy. That's pretty much it. And then buy that. Sometimes you have to wait because it has to rescan, but other than that, I mean, it goes pretty quick. I'm going to keep on buying all these because this is pretty cheap. Alright, 222, a little more expensive. I'm not going to touch it. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much the buy tab. You know, and then there's the sell tab. Again, I showed you how to I showed you guys a little bit earlier. You know, alt click, right mouse button, and all of a sudden it puts it in there. And then, you know, it shows the cheapest. As you can see, it already did the undercut already. The duration's already set there already. Again, that's based on what you set in the auction house or in the options. Now, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post up like this where it requires a little bit more. Because it's going to, you know, where it shows you the different stacks. And it's really cool because it will show you. The red eye tells me that I have, I can do a maximum of 20 stacks of 20. So at 52 gold, that's pretty good. I'm going to put 20 stacks in. You click, and you go create 20. You just click the button once. And as you see at the bottom here, it actually creates all 20 uh, auction outs for you. Where it queues it all up and it recreates it for you like that. That's really cool about this. The buy tab and sell tab. And then of course the last is going to be the more tab. This tab's kind of cool. This tab lets you uh, search the auction house of your specific item that you post in the auction house. And it lets you check to see which item has been undercutted already. So these are just the things I have in the auction house. You can just go ahead and click on, click on this button at the bottom left where it says check for updates. And it'll check all your items in the auction house. I mean, usually I have about 70 stuff in the auction house. They'll put a green if mean no one undercutted you. And usually uh, it'll put a red X by it. And it's saying that someone undercutted you. Like I'll just put one in there just to kind of show you guys. Like I'll make this like 14,000 gold. So I mean it's at the bottom here. So of course you know if I go into the auction house here. I click more. And I click uh, check for undercutting. So it's going to go ahead and scan through this. And of course it's going to put a red X by the Warhound. Because I, I did it on purpose just to show you guys. So you can see it put an X in front of it. So it tells you that two, two of your auctions are not at the lowest price. Would you like to cancel them? And you can actually click on no, leave them, or you can actually click on yes, and it'll all and it'll automatically start undercutting. It'll automatically start canceling your your auctions that have been undercutted. And sometimes, like I have like a hundred auctions that's been undercutted, you know, it's really good. It's really nice to have that, so that way I can just keep on clicking it to under to cancel every single one of those auctions. Instead of having to go into the auction house, click on the item, go cancel item, click on the next item, cancel item. This thing is really nice because it'll you just keep on punching it and it'll do like, uh, like all of them where it'll cancel all the items, and they'll just simply show up in your mailbox. And then uh, as a couple of my uh, videos earlier, I stated that you know it's good to have this add-on called Postal. Because you can just click one button, you know, and it'll open all of your items in your mailbox for you at once. And again, uh, this is how I use Auctionator. And again, um, a lot of people utilize this more in depth than I do. But this is how I use this particular add-on for my auction house needs on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, if you guys like this video, you know, please subscribe and like. Uh, otherwise, um... I will definitely be making more videos uh, with different add-ons I use when it comes to gold making tips. And again, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one guys. Take care.